All right, good morning, good evening, good day, folks. This is Tiffany over here at Truck Guide, and today we're going to be going over our Crew Trip Card A on a manual truck. All right, so to start out, I'll take a general overview of my vehicle, make sure it's not leaning to the left or to the right, which could indicate a uh, low tire air pressure, broken suspension, or a shift in the load. Then I'll go ahead and take a look underneath my vehicle to make sure that there are no puddles, any fuel, engine oil, coolant, or any other fluids to make sure that there are no leaks. Then I'll go ahead and start at the top of my vehicle with my clearance lights. They are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are amber in color, used for clearance lights, and they are working properly. Moving down, I have my windshield. It is properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is clean and clear. There's no illegal stickers obstructing my view, and my registration is up to date. Moving on to my windshield rubber seal. It is properly mounted and secured not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no, bra no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and it is working properly, and it is not leaking. Then I have my wipers and my rubber blades. They are properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My rubber blades have no abrasions, bu bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and they are working properly. Moving down to my mirrors, I have my driver's side, my passenger side, and my hood mirror. They are all properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are clean and clear and adjusted to my view. Moving down to my hood and my grill. It is properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and there's no illegal wells. Then I'll go down to my headlights. They are properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are clean and clear. They're used for high beams and low beams and they are working properly. Then I have my turn signals. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are amber in color, used for turn signals, emergency flashers, and they are also working properly. Moving down to my front bumper, it is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells. On down to my license plate, it is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is clear of any debris and it is up to date. So that's my overview. I'll go ahead and move on to my engine components. I'll open up my hood using three points of contact, which consists of two hands and one foot. I'll go ahead and open it. Then I'll be moving on to my passenger side. All right, so here we are on our passenger side. To start out, we're going to start out with our air box and air filter. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is free of any debris. Then I have my air compressor. It is properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is gear driven and there are no leaks. Then I have my water pump. It is properly mounted and secured. Not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells. It is belt driven uh, and it has no leaks. My AC my, excuse me, my air compressor has no illegal wells and neither does my water pump. Moving on to my coolant reservoir, it is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. The cap is hand tight. It is filled to the proper operating level and there are no leaks. Here I have my coolant reservoir hoses. They are properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts or dry rots. It is secure with clamps on both ends and it is not leaking. Moving down to my radiator, it is properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells and there are no leaks. Here I have my fan blades. They are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells and they are working properly. Here I have my frame. It is properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and there are no illegal wells. All right, so that is, that is it for our passenger side. So now we'll move on over to our driver's side. All right, so here we are on our driver's side, and the first thing we're going to start talking about is our windshield washer fluid reservoir. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. The cap is hand tight. It is filled to the proper operating level, and there are no leaks. Then I have my brake fluid reservoir. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. The cap is hand tight. It is also filled to the proper operating level, and there are no leaks. And I have my air hoses. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and they are not leaking. 
All right, so here I, I have my oil cap and my oil dipstick. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not, the cap is hand tight, it is not leaking. And to check my oil, I will pull my dipstick out, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it back out, and read it to make sure that it's at the proper operating level, and go ahead and stick it back in. Then I'll move to my alternator. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no bare wires showing. My alternator wires have no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is belt driven and it is not leaking. Moving down to my AC compressor. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is also belt driven and it is not leaking. My belt itself, it is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and there's no more than three quarters inches of play. All right, so then I'll go ahead and go over my steering components. To start out, I have my steering shaft. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells, and there's no more than 10 degrees of play. Then I have my U-joints. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and it is properly lubricated, and none of this is leaking as well. Uh, move on to my power steering reservoir. It is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. The cap is hand tight. It is filled to the proper operating level and there are no leaks. My power steering hoses, they are properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is clamped on both ends and it is not leaking. Moving down to my steering gearbox. It is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and it is not leaking. All right, so to continue on with my steering system, I have my pitman arm, my drag link, my upper and lower control arms, and also my tie rod. They are all properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and they are all secured with castle nuts and cotter pins. Moving down to my suspension, I'll start out with my leaf spring hangers, both front and back. They are properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. Moving down to my leaf springs, they are properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells. They are properly spaced and properly aligned. And also all my nuts and my U-bolts are present and tight. My U-bolts themselves, they are properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. My shocks, they are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are secured with upper and lower mounts, and they are not leaking. Now I will be moving on to my braking system. To start out, I have my brake line hoses. They are properly mounted and secure. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and there are no leaks. Moving down to my brake chamber, it is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and it is also not leaking. Further down, I have my push rod. It is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells. Below that, I have my slack adjuster. It is properly mounted and secured. Not being broken or cracked, all nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are secured with claves and cotter pins, and there's no more than one, one inch of play with the brakes release. All right, so inside of my rim, I have my brake pads. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken or cracked, all nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells, no grease, oil, or debris, and there's no less than one fourth material thickness. Outside of that, I have my brake drums. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells, no grease, no oil, or debris. All right, so I have my, starting out with my wheels, I have my inside and my outside rim. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no illegal wells. I have my inside and my outside tire wall, and it is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bulbous cuts, or dry rots. It is properly seated to the rim, and it is not leaking. Then I have my top of my tire. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. There are virgin tires, evenly worn, with no less than 4 32nd tread depth, and there are no leaks. 
starting off with my lug nuts. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no rush trails or shiny metal shavings, which indicate a loose lug nut. I have my hub seal, properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is filled to the proper operating level and there are no leaks. Then I have my metal valve stem. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is secured with a metal valve stem cap that holds 100 PSI and it is not leaking. And that concludes my pre-trip card A. What's going on everybody? This is Tiff back again with Truck Guys CDL Training and today we'll be going over our car B on an automatic truck. All right, so to get started with our car B, we'll uh, open up the door and we'll talk about our door and our door hinges. They are properly mounted secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and they are working properly. And while I have my door open, I'll go ahead and get my door rubber seal. It is properly mounted secure, not being broken or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts or dry rots. I will go ahead and start with my window. My window is properly mounted secure, not being broken or cracked. It is clean and clear to my view. Then I move on to my mirrors. My driver's side, passenger, and my hood mirrors. They are all properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are clean and clear and they are adjusted to my view. Then I move on down to my door handle. It is properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and it is working properly. Then I'll move down to my side marker light. It is properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is amber in color, used for turn signals and emergency flashers, and it is working properly. Next, I'll move down to my footsteps. All my footsteps are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there is no debris or anything, uh, any obstructions. Then I'll move to my fuel tank. My fuel tank is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My fuel tank cap is secure with a, a metal chain and a rubber seal that has no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and it is also not leaking. And I have my fuel tank rubber straps. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My uh, straps have no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. Then I have my battery box. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is not leaking. Then I will move on to my air tanks. My air tanks are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are filled to the proper operating level, and they are not leaking. Then I'll move on starting at the top. I'll start with my back window. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. Uh, it is clean and clear to my view as well. Moving down to my storage light. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. It is clean and clear, uh, working properly, and it is used to provide light to my catwalk area. Then over here, I have my exhaust. My exhaust is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There is no black soot, which will indicate a leak. Here I have my catwalk area. It has plenty of room, and there are no wires or hosing rubbing along the frame. In between my catwalk, I have my drive shaft. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. In front and behind my drive shaft, I have my U-joints. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is properly lubricated, and there are also no illegal wells. Here I have my frame. My frame is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. All right, so now I will be going over my suspension system. First things first, we have our leaf spring hangers, both front and back. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. Then I'll move down to my leaf springs. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and U-bolts are present and tight. They are properly spaced, properly aligned, and there are also no illegal wells. And it's behind my tire, but if you follow the leaf springs, we will have our U-bolts are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are also no illegal wells. From there, we'll move back and we'll catch our airbags. My airbags are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is filled to the proper operating level, and there are no leaks. Just before the airbags, I have my shocks. My shocks are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are secured with a upper and lower mount, and they are also not leaking. And that concludes my suspension system. 
All right, so now we'll be going over our braking system. And the first thing is gonna be our brake line hoses. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are, are, there are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and they are not leaking. And then we have below that, we have our brake chamber. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking, and there are no illegal wells. Then we'll go to our push rod, which is in uh, behind the brake chamber. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. Then we'll go to our slack adjuster, which is right below the push rod. Our slack adjuster is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is secure with claves and cotter pins, and there are no illegal wells. Also with my slack adjuster, I have no more than one inch of play with the brakes released. From there, we'll go to the inside of our tire, which we have our brake pads. Our brake pads are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no uh, illegal wells, no grease, oil, or debris, and though there is no less than one-fourth of material thickness. Outside of that, we have our brake drums. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, no grease, oil, or debris as well. And that will be it for my braking system, so now I'll be going over the wheels. All right, so for my wheels, I have two of them, so on everything, I'm gonna make sure I say on both wheels or both tires. I'm gonna start out with my inside and outside rim on both tires. They are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. There are no illegal wells. Then I'll go on to my inside and my outside tire wall on both tires. They are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is properly seated to the rim and it is not leaking. Then I'll move on to the top of my tires on both wheels. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is evenly worn. There's no less than two thirty second of tread depth and it is not leaking. Then I'll move to the center where I have my wheel connection. My wheel connection has no gap, no grease, oil, or debris. Then I will move on to my lug nuts. My lug nuts are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no shiny metal shavings or rush trails, which could indicate a loose lug nut. Then I'll move on to my metal valve stem on both of my wheels. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. Uh, it's secure with a metal valve stem cap that holds 100 PSI, and it is also not leaking. Then I'll move to my hub seal. My hub seal is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is filled to the proper operating level, and it is not leaking. All right, then I'll move on to the rear of my vehicle. So for the rear of my vehicle, I have my mud flaps. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's at least two to eight inches of ground clearance. Then moving on, I have my tail lights. My tail lights are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are red in color, used for turn signals, stop lights, emergency flashers, and they are working properly. Lastly, I have my reverse light. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is clear in color, and it is used for my reverse lights. And that concludes my car B. This is Tiff here, back again with Truck Guy CDL Training, and today we're going to be going over our car C. All right, so to start out, we have our front clearance light. Our front clearance lights are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is amber in color, used for clearance lights, and it is working properly. Moving down, we have our bulkhead header board. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All rivets are present and tight. There are no holes and no damages. We'll move on to our apron. Our apron is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, no holes, no damages, and the kingpin is attached to the apron. Then we'll move on to the side of the trailer. The side of the trailer is properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked, and rivets are present and tight. There's no holes or no damages, and my DOT tape is 50% the length of the trailer. All right, so here we have our floorboard. Our floorboard is properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. 
There's no holes or no damages or no dry rots. And here we have our cross members. For our cross members, they are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal welds. All right, so here we have our landing gear, our landing gear leg, and our landing gear foot. They are all properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are stored in the upright position, and they are working properly. Next, we have our landing gear handle. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is stored in the locked position, and it is also working properly. All right, so here we have our side marker light. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is red in color. Now we'll be going over our suspension. To start out, we have our leaf spring hangers, both front and back. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells. Our leaf springs are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and U-bolts are present and tight. They are properly spaced, properly aligned, and there are no illegal wells. A little bit further, we have our U-bolts. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. All right, so the last thing with my suspension is going to be my torque bar. My torque bar is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. Now I'll be moving on to my braking system. To start out, I have my brake line hoses. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and it is not leaking. Moving down to my brake chamber. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and it is not leaking. Between here, I have my air tank. My air tanks are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are filled to the proper operating level, and they are not leaking. So now we'll have to move on around to the back so that we can see our push rod and our slack adjuster. Continuing with our braking system, here we have our push rod. The push rod is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells. Above our push rod, we have our slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is secure with clays and cotter pins, and there is no more than one inch of clay with the brakes released. And looking in between our tire here, we have our brake pads. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells, no grease, oil, or debris, and there's no less than one-fourth of material thickness. Below our brake pads, we have our brake drums. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, no grease, oil, or debris. And uh, that will be it for our braking system, so we'll move on to our wheels. Continuing on with our wheels, as we can see, we have two wheels back here. So we will uh, say our inside and outside rim on both of our wheels are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked, and there are no illegal wells. We have the inside and outside tire wall on both of our wheels. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rot. It is properly seated to the rim and it is not leaking. We have the top of our tires on both, on both wheels, properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. They are evenly worn. There's no less than two 30 seconds tread depth and it is, they are not leaking. In the center here, we have our wheel connection, which has no gaps, no grease, oil, or debris. Moving on, we have our lug nuts. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no shiny metal shavings or rust trails, which indicate a loose lug nut. Here we have our metal valve stem on both wheels. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is not leaking. It is secured with a metal valve stem cap, which holds 100 PSI. Then we have our hub seal, properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is filled to the proper operating level, and it is not leaking. Now we'll move on to the rear of the trailer. All right, so here we are at the rear of the trailer. We'll start at the top with our rear clearance lights. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are red in color, used for clearance lights, and they are working properly. Moving down, we have our trailer door. It is properly mounted and secure, 
not bent, broken, or cracked. All rivets are present and tight. There are no holes and no damages. Moving down, we have our trailer door latch. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is in the locked position and it is working properly. Then we have our tail lights. Our tail lights are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are red in color, used for turn signals, emergency flashers, and stop lights. Here, I have my license plate. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is clean and clear of any debris, and it is up to date. Above that, I have my license plate light. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is clean and clear in color, and it is used to provide light to my license plate. Moving down, I have my DOT bumper. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells, and my DOT tape stretches 100% the width of the trailer. I also have my mud flaps. They are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's at least two to eight inches of ground clearance, excuse me. And then I would inspect the right side of the trailer the same way I did the left side, and that will complete my car T. All right, guys, this is Tiff once again back here with Truck God, and today we'll be going over our couplings. Couplings is very important. You cannot miss anything on couplings, so we definitely want to put extra emphasis on focusing on our couplings. First thing is going to be our emergency airline. It is coming from our truck, going to our trailer. It is red in color. It is properly mounted and secured, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. It is not rubbing on the frame and it is not leaking. Once again, it is red in color. All right, so next up we have our emergency airline glad hand. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no legal wells and it is not leaking. Inside of there we have our rubber seal. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. All nuts and bolts are present and tight and it is also not leaking. Moving along, we have our service airline and it is coming from our truck going to our trailer. It is blue in color, properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts or dry rots. It is not leaking and it is also not rubbing along the frame. Then we have our service airline glad hand. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no illegal wells and it is not leaking. Inside of that, we have our glad hand rubber seal. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and all nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it is also not leaking. Moving along to our electrical plug or our pigtail. It is also coming from our truck and going to our trailer. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There are no bare wires showing. It is in the locked position, and it is also not rubbing along the frame. Moving right along, we have our apron. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There is no illegal wells, no holes, no damages, and my kingpin is attached to the apron. Then I'll move on to my stationary platform. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and there are no illegal wells. Moving up, I have my pivot pin. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and it's working properly. I have my release handle and lock. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is in the lock position, and it is also working properly. And I have my fifth wheel skid plate. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There's no illegal wells. It is properly lubricated, and there's no gap between my apron and my fifth wheel. All right, so in between my fifth wheel, I have my locking jaw and kingpin. It is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. There is no illegal wells, and my locking jaw is locked around my kingpin, and that would conclude my coupling portion of my pre-trip. All right, so now we'll be getting started with our in-cab uh, inspection. So the first thing we want to make sure is that our wheels are chalk. We're going to Chalk the front left uh, driver tire only, both front and back, it's chalk. And another thing we want to focus on safety. So every time we get in, out, in or out of the vehicle, we'll make sure we use three points of contact, meaning two hands and one foot at all times, getting in or out of the vehicle. Be safe. 
All right, so like I said, we'll be starting our in cab inspection. So we already have our wheels chalked. We entered in with our three points of contact. Now we're gonna do our safe start. We wanna make sure our vehicle is in neutral. Both my truck and trailer knobs are pulled out. I'll go ahead and turn my key to the auxiliary position, wait for my gauges to stabilize, my light to go off of my dash. All right, now I'll go ahead and put the clutch all the way to the floor and start my vehicle. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is our seat belt. We wanna make sure my seat belt is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. There are no abrasions, cuts, or tears, and that my latch is working properly. Then I'll move on to my ABC fire extinguisher over here to the left of my seat. It is properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. It is red in color. It is filled to the proper operating level. It is up to date and it is not leaking. Then I will go to my safety triangles. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are three in total, red in color, and they are used in case of emergencies. Then I'll go to my spare fuses. They are properly mounted and secure, not bent, broken, or cracked. They are six in total, and they are working properly. Then I'll make sure my floor is clean and clear of any obstructions. Nothing that can roll up and uh, cause problems with my shifting or my footing. Then I will move to my mirrors, my driver, my passenger mirror, and my hood mirror. They are all properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are clean and clear, and they are adjusted to my view. Then I have my window. It is properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. It is clean and clear, and it opens and closes in case of an emergency. So my windshield, my windshield is properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. It is clean and clear. There is no illegal stickers obstructing my view, and my registration sticker is up to date. My windshield rubber seal, properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. There are no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots, and there's no leaks. Then my wipers and rubber blades, they are properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. My rubber blades have no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, or dry rots. And I will go ahead and demonstrate that they are working properly. Then I will move on to my lights. I like to combine my lights and my turn signals. So first I have my headlight knob. We'll actually turn it on and off to demonstrate that it's working. It is properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. And as I said, it was working properly. So from my headlight knob, I have my emergency flashers. They are properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked, and they are working properly. From there, I have my turn signals, left and right. As I demonstrate that they're working properly, they are properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. I also have my high beams if I pull my lever towards me. They are properly mounted and secured, not been broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. And as I demonstrated, it is working properly. Then I'll move to my steering wheel. It is properly mounted and secure, not been broken or cracked. There's no more than two inches or two degrees of play, and it is working properly. So there I'll do my, my horn. I like to combine my city. <laughs> That's actually my highway horn and my city horn. They are both properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All my nuts and bolts are present and tight. And as I just demonstrated, they are working properly. So then I'll move on to my truck and trailer knobs. They are properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. They are in the applied or pulled out position and they are working properly. So from there, I've covered my steering wheel, my knobs. I'll move on to my AC heater and defrost. So first starting out with my AC, I'll turn it on. I'll feel in front of the vent. I'll turn to my heater. I'll feel in front of the vent as well. Then I'll turn to my defrost. I'll feel high and low. They are all properly mounted and secure, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight, and they are all working properly. All right, so I'll take this moment to just kind of make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, so from there, I would move to my gauges. All my gauges are properly mounted and secured, not being broken or cracked. All nuts and bolts are present and tight. 
All right, so the, the book has it listed in a specific order, but me personally, I like to go from right to left when I'm talking about my gauges. So first I have my primary and my secondary air tank gauge, reading between uh, 125 and 135 PSI, working properly. Here I have my fuel gauge. It is properly mounted secure, not been broken or cracked. It is showing enough fuel to complete my test and is working properly when I have my speedometer. It is working properly when in motion. Here I have my RPM gauge. I'll go ahead and rev my engine and show that it is working properly. Here I have my temperature gauge. It is reading between 170 and 190 degrees and it's working properly. Here I have my oil pressure gauge reading between 40 and 60 PSI working properly. And to get to my voltmeter, I'll go ahead and pull it up on my, all right, there it is. So my voltmeter is reading between 12 and 14 volts and it is also working properly. All right, so that completes the end cap portion of my air brakes and I'll go ahead and move on to the actual air brake portion. All right, so I'm always gonna enter and exit my vehicle using three points of contact, which is two hands and one foot, or however you need, but just make sure you have your three points of contact. And I'm gonna go ahead and face the vehicle at all times. I'll get in, go ahead and put on my seat belt. And we'll do a safe start. A safe start consists of turning the key to the on position, verifying that my vehicle is in neutral, and both my truck and my trailer knobs are in the pulled out or applied position. I'll wait for my gauges to stabilize, for my lights to disappear off my dash, and then I'll go ahead and start the vehicle all the way. All right, so we just got in and cranked the vehicle. As you can hear, the buzzing that's going on, we have to wait for our air tanks to fill up and our governor shut off, so we'll be listening for a sneeze. I'll roll down my window a little bit and I'll give it a little gas because so that'll make the process happen a little bit faster. I won't rev my RPMs higher than 15. All right, so we're just waiting for our primary and secondary air tanks to fill up. All right, not sure if you heard that, but that was my sneeze. So now I'll go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Turn it back to the on position. I'll push in both my truck and my trailer knob. We'll wait for the hissing to stop. So now we'll, the first test is gonna be our static brake test. For our static brake test, I'm gonna set a timer for one minute and I'm gonna watch my primary and my secondary gauges. During that one minute, I should not lose no more than three PSI. So I'll pull out my phone or my timer and I'll go ahead and set my timer for one minute one minute later let's fast forward to say that one minute has passed i will confirm that i have not lost no more than three psi so my static brake test has worked properly so i'll move on to my applied brake test for my applied brake test i will apply my foot lightly on the brake i will set another timer for a minute and for this minute i should not lose no more than four psi in this minute so i'll go ahead and start my applied brake test now there's a slight hissing i'll wait for that hissing to stop and I will go ahead and set my timer for one minute. And I'll keep my eye on my primary and my secondary air tank gauges for this test as well. One minute later. All right, fast forward, a minute has gone by. I'll take my foot off the brake. I'll confirm that I have not lost no more than four PSI in that minute, so my applied brake test has worked properly. So now I'll move on to my low pressure warning test. For this test, I will slowly fan my brakes while watching my primary and secondary gauge and around 60 PSI, my uh, low pressure warning indicator light should come on on my dash. I'll go ahead and start my uh, low pressure warning test now. All right, if you can look, I have both my primary and my secondary indicator lights have come on, which confirm that my low pressure warning test has worked properly. So now I'll move on to my emergency brake test. For this test, I will continue to fan my brakes between 20 and 40 PSI, both my truck and my trailer knobs should pop out. So I'll go ahead and start this test now. All right, 
Both my truck and trailer knob have popped out, which confirmed that my emergency brake test has worked properly. So now I will go ahead and do another safe start. Once again, verifying that my vehicle is in neutral. Both my truck and trailer knobs are out. Wait for my lights to disappear off my dash and my gauges to stabilize. Then I'll go ahead and start the vehicle all the way. So now that we've seen that our uh, brake knobs are working, we'll go ahead and we, now we have to rebuild our air tanks and so our governor can shut off again. So we're gonna wait for another sneeze. So I'll go ahead and give it a little gas, no more than those 15 RPM so that my uh, air tanks can refill at 125 to 135 PSI. All right, now that I heard my sneeze, I'll go ahead and remove my seatbelt and exit and re-enter the vehicle using three points of contact for safety and I'll go ahead and remove my chalks. Uh, first, I'll go ahead and turn my steering wheel. Sometimes it's hard to get the chalks away, so I'll go ahead and break them away. I'll still use my three points of contact. All right, back in with my three points. And I'll put my seatbelt back on. So now we will move on to our tug test. For tug test one, I'll be testing my trailer brakes. So I'll be pushing in my truck knob, the yellow knob. Uh, I'll go ahead and put my foot on the brake, put my vehicle in low gear, which is driving this one. And then I will go ahead and push my knobs in. Uh, I will let off the brake, give it a little gas. My vehicle shouldn't move. It should jerk just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and perform my tug test one now. All right, my vehicle didn't move, which confirmed my tug test one worked properly. So now I'll move on to tug test two. For tug test two, I'll be testing my truck brake, so I'll be pushing in my red trailer knob. Once again, I'll put my foot on the brake, vehicle in drive, and push in my red knob. I'll go ahead and perform tug test two now. And my vehicle should not move, it should only jerk. All right, foot off the brake, little gas, nothing. All right, back in neutral, knob back out. My vehicle didn't move, which confirmed my tug test two worked properly. So now I will move on to my service brake alignment test. For my service brake alignment test, I'll move forward going no more than five miles per hour, not touching, but with my hands guarding the wheel. My vehicle shouldn't pull to the left or to the right. Once again, I'll put my, I'll put my foot on the brake, put my vehicle in drive. This time I will push both of my knobs in and we'll see if the service brake alignment test works properly. All right, starting now. on the brake, vehicle back in neutral, both my truck and trailer knobs out, put off the brake. So my vehicle did not move to the left or to the right, which indicate that my service brake alignment test works properly and this will conclude my air brakes test. <laughs>